Dear Leo, welcome back to Saturated in Love VIP Tarot, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. I'm here for another weekly message for you all. Hope all is blessed in your world. Boop, ba -doo. Shuffling the Lover's Path Tarot. It is a large deck before I head out and take my acrylic off my nails. Reason being, with the whole pandemic crisis out here, I don't know if I want to be sending them salons getting certain things done. Oh, dear Leo, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Anywho, back to you. Hope all is blessed again in your world. We're going to get a quick lover spread. This will be pertaining your soulmates, partners, crushes, twin flames, whatever you want to call them. Whoever's on your mind at the sound of my voice is probably who the reading will be about. Oh dear Leo, thank you Holy Spirit for using me as a vessel. Divine feminine energy. Divine masculine energy. What draws you souls together? Potential hindrances of the pair. And ultimate potential of the duo. Boop, ba -doo. Let's go, divine feminine. We have magic, feeling magical, feeling like you are manifesting your destiny, making things happen, checking things off of your wish lists, to-do lists, divine masculine energy, wisdom, my God. Divine masculine has become hip to the fact that divine feminine is his end all be all. How beautiful is this? Like literally, I feel like the divine masculine is supporting his queen, the divine feminine. This is beautiful. He is wise. He is moving according to spirit's advice. Congratulations to the dear Leo who has a sound partnership because in both these photographs, there are a couple here. Okay, so for whoever has a healthy relationship today, congratulations. What draws you souls together? Princess of arrows. So that's the princess of swords. So what does that mean? Swords is mental clarity. Swords could be conflict, but see, it's about the mind. It says psyche here. P-S-Y-C-H-E, psyche. What draws you together is that you do think of one another. You highly regard each other. Again, this is a lover's spread. If you're single and you're watching this, it could be about a friend, a partnership, or again, the sh if the shoe doesn't fit, not again for the first time, if the shoe doesn't fit, don't try to wear it. Okay, be sure to check out your Moon Rising and Venus videos as well. But do know that this is all capturing energy and it's very good thus far. What draws you together is your minds. You guys put your minds together and you make something fruitful come of it. You do have a great support system in one another. Magic and wisdom here for the divine masculine and feminine. Oh dear Leo. Ultimate, uh, sorry, potential hindrances, Prince of Coins. Okay, so money could be an issue. We could be looking for, you know, ways to earn passive income. We could be looking for ways to bury some reserves, in, especially in these times. Again, dear Leo, it's time to hunker down on spending and, you know, ramp up the savings. So yeah, this could be the potential problem of the pair. But what's at the top? The good part. Woo, seven of coins. Is that you two together, the family will thrive regardless because out of necessity you know what to do in these trying circumstances and times and you guys are coming together and using your minds psyches to dictate next steps the divine masculine energy surrounding you is wise the divine feminine energy surrounding you is magical oh dear leo you guys coming together you'll make it work seven of pentacles just means things will get better as long as you two strive together for the family, it's going down. Oh dear Leo, very positive spread, magic and wisdom. That's what I like to see. Expounding with a Celtic message per usual. Shuffling the sexual magic tarot. Oh dear Leo, thank you Holy Spirit for that message. Looks like dear Leo is in a solid partnership for all single dear Leos. Looks like you guys have that ability to tap into somebody who can become a true partner. Someone who could be a true supporter at this time. Yes, thank you Holy Spirit. What else does dear Leo need to know? Seven of Cups. 
Gonna go straight to the lover's tarot for you. Interestingly enough, dear Cancer just drew this first card in the spread before you. So this is a collective energy I'm picking up on. Seven of cups, baby. It's potential. What, did I, what was at the top of y'all spread in the lover spread, dear Leo? Who remembers? Seven of coins. That was the seven of pentacles at the top. So you guys have a lot of potential, again, for you and your partner. Let's go. This looks like fun from the outside, but you may be feeling confused and stressed out. You do not need to make an emotional choice or decision right now. If you are dating a number of possible partners, just enjoy the variety and delay getting involved emotionally or sexually with any of them for the time being. Eventually, your intuition will guide you in the right direction. Wait and see. Oh, dear Leo, what helps to hinders this notion? Queen of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. So maybe emotionally, you know, you can't get all lovey-dovey now because you got a job to do. Queen of Pentacles is what helps you. You're going after the money. You're going after the security, the stability. Remember, love is spread. Prince of Coins was at the bottom. That was the problem. The problem is... It's just money right now, okay? Somebody's not satisfied. Could be you, dear Leo, because you're always striving for more. You know what I'm saying? So what helps you, though, is that Queen of Pentacles energy. So you're willing to put your emotions to the side right now. Whether or not you're involved with a great person or not, you're putting your emotions on freeze because now you're thinking with your mind. Again, Psyche drew you together. You're thinking with your mind about how can you elevate yourself how can you elevate the family how can you grow your finances oh dear leo unconscious factors that play zero beautiful the fool here we go you're gonna have a fresh start you're gonna walk into a direction where the money is you're, you're taking your things with you and you're and you're off there you go on your new start and that's an unconscious position for you so a lot of you are not even aware of a of clean clean fresh opportunity headed your way in your recent past, nine of wands, this is people who are passionate about each other, but they're full of doubt and uncertainty. Wands is your energy, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So in the recent past, yes, you and yours, although there is love there, you're not sure about tomorrow. The future seems a little bleak. But again, if you put your minds together, nothing is stopping you. Okay, divine feminine, you possess the magic. Divine masculine possesses the wisdom. You guys will be just fine. At the top of this situation, seven of wands, lots of sevens, lots of sevens. So you guys have the energy of feeling like it can't get any better, feeling like things are not working out for whatever reason. You guys have a lot of doubt, but you know what? I feel like it's stemming more from you than anyone else because look at the wands energy again. Okay, what did I just say? The nine of wands, your energy. Seven of wands, your energy. Lots of wands. You are the one putting the doubt and uncertainty behind this. You, you, the divine masculine is wise. Trust that everything will be fine. Trust in your power, divine feminine. And I just feel like I'm feeling, um, speaking more to divine feminines, but take it as it resonates, okay? I'm just saying, your power is the power of manifestation. So stop doubting each other. Stop doubting your divine masculine. Things are about to get better. Zero the fool. Unconscious factor. Focus on this. A fresh start, baby. <clears throat> Let's go. Life is what you make it in the near future. The chariots. Woo! Moving swiftly. Quick, quick, quick. You guys are going to come together, put your minds together, and move quick. Somebody's going to make a quick turn for the better divine masculine is gonna surprise the ish out of you <laughs> oh dear leo <laughs> quick 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 with the quickness in the near future things are about to get better financially everything however you need it to be okay how you view yourself dear leo eight of wands yep wands 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 eight of wands baby going back to the lovers tarot i love my little guy book I know the VIP is appreciated. I appreciate your emails. Even if you guys don't want readings, my friends, do know I am here for emails. I saw this other reader that I really like, this guy. He was like, listen, hit me up for my readings. I'm not here for conversation. But I want you to know, dear Leo, I am here for conversation. So feel free to email me for any reason. Saturated in love, VIP at gmail.com. <laughs> Eight of Wands, it says expansion. What I told you, what did I tell to you? 
What did I tell to do? The Eight of Wands brings vibrant energy and expansion. Your social circle, romantic prospects, and creative inspiration are all opening up now. New friendships or a new romance will widen your horizons, or you will have an opportunity to travel and expand your knowledge of the world around you. Traditionally, this card is called the Arrows of Love. Adjoining cards such as the Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, or Page of Cups will confirm this message. Well, you guys got the Seven of Cups in the beginning. That's all the cups I have for you, but oh dear, Leo, things are really about to change for the better. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the message. How others view you. Woo! The sun, the sun. Look at you, dear Leo, Lion King. Look at you on a pedestal. They view you as their joy and ultimate fulfillment. Dear Leo. Ah, doesn't that make sense for you? <laughs> your hope or your fear, dear Leo. King of Swords. Woo! King of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Your hope is to boss up, be the dictator, um, be the ruler, okay? For your words to come across and for people to jump at, at your every wish and command, essentially. Harrow. Final outcome for dear Leo, the wheel of fortune. I mean, you guys have the sun here. You have the wheel of fortune here. Look, no need to stress about anything that doesn't seem straight right now because your ducks will all be made and put in a row. They are. All your I's are about to be dotted. All your T's are about to be crossed. Do not give up on each other, dear Leo. You guys got something good going. Put your minds together and flourish. Okay, let's get a lover's oracle message. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that message for dear Leo. Let's get a lover's oracle message for dear Leo. Oh, my God, I saw it. I cheated. I saw it. It says new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Dear Leo, as you go unconsciously off into your new beginning, I wish you all the best be victorious, be blessed, be prosperous. Keep pursuing your dreams and maintain positivity. Peace.